Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, Elsie Jim007, and today we're looking at the simple item generator. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to edit items in Minecraft, not only how they look with the color codes of their title and lore, but also various attributes and flags. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So by default, there is a ton of these diamonds which aren't particularly interesting. They have a custom name and lore, but they don't really do much. Whereas if we go over to this sword that I've made, you can see it's got a custom name, it's got sharpness five, custom lore, and it's actually going to give us three more hearts when we're holding it. Now this isn't a very good design as when I switch something else, I immediately lose them, which is why this helmet, which you can see is customized, if I pop that on, that's also going to give me three extra hearts. And then I've also attached a message. So when I left click the air or right click a block, it's going to send or spam this message in chat. So those are a few examples of what you can do with the plugin. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SMPinit control panel and if we jump into the config.yml, it's gonna show all the items. So here are all the diamonds. As you can see, they're all pretty much the same with how they work. So what we're gonna do is go to one of these. Uh, let's choose one further down here and copy and paste it. So let's go ahead and grab item nine and then we are going to paste it down here and customize it. So we're gonna rename it first of all to YouTube. The material is going to be an iron ax and then we have the name here, so we've got it bold. We can change the color if we wanted to aqua, make sure you use the correct color codes. And we're gonna call it uh, shiny axe. And then we have the law down here, so you could get interesting with this if you wanted. And then we have item flags. So do you want to hide the attributes and enchants? No, we want to see what it has. Down here, we can add uh, enchantments if we want. So we could do smite five. And then attributes, if we scroll up to the helmet, you can see some examples here. This is going to both add health and add armor and show the slot it goes in. So if we wanted, we could go ahead and copy and it's going to be health, max health, let's do nine or 10. And then here is the usage command. So it uses mini message instead of JSON. So you have color codes, which is pretty cool. And this is when you click the air or a block and then you also get a different message if you click an enemy so obviously you could change this to anything you wanted here we are on the speaker page if we scroll down a little bit there are some cool examples that uh, you can see here now this is a cool thing you can do with the law to get rainbow so we will uh, copy these and pop them in and if we scroll down a bit there should be more examples down here so here is the helmet that I copied and pasted and then there is also a chest plate that we could grab that is going to be a brand new item so we're going to paste that in here there is also a really good wiki so if you want to go to attributes for example you can see what it looks like so let's see there is a movement speed one let's add that to one of our items so if we add another attribute so this one's going to be speed so you can call it anything you want and then make sure you copy exactly what it is so it's movement speed and amount five and we'll see how that works for our iron axe so we've made quite a few changes to that item if we do sig reload hopefully that doesn't break anything and if we do sig give chest plate to lc gym and then sig give it's gonna be youtube to lc gym wow look at this so maybe you don't want to set the movement speed to five because you're going to be zooming about and people will think you're cheating. But that is an example of what you could do with it. So there is our rainbow message. There's our smite enchantment that we added. We've got five extra health um, because we set it to 10. Each health is half a heart. And that is an example of what you can do with this plugin. So you can really dive into the wiki and find some cool things to set for your items. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.